Come on. That's it, Cole. You did it. It's Chuck's history. Pull him out of there. There we go. Now we got him. Put your hands in the air. There we go. We did it. Hey. <laughs> Why, why was the police helping us there? Like, fucking leave the chase to us. And we don't have to have any casualties. Like you guys. Wow, you're a fucking liar. He's a goddamn liar. Oh, it could be anywhere. Oh, I, I know one of these scenes. Okay. Oh, I actually see a newspaper here. Mickey Cohen. Heir apparent to Bugsy Siegel. New arrival set to muscle in on drug protection rockets. Cohen cries innocence as police begin an inquiry. Hmm. The fuck was that? That was either like a girl screaming or like a squeaky tool. No, while this cutscene's going, I have to look at. Couldn't you think anywhere else to meet, kid? We like to choose our. <laughs> I have to check something out. Huh? It's something Wellington said at Waterloo. The guys who win normally choose where to fight. We're we gonna fight, kid. The two of you versus my boys here. I love the fight game. I went a few rounds myself. You and your friend. Uh, it looks tough, but uh, I don't like your chances. Nah. We don't have to fight, Mr. Cohen. We have you in Infilate. What the fuck is that? Some kind of stake? It means my men are in cover, but that they can still shoot you. If those were my orders, you would all be dead now. Are you kidding me? This is a $200 coat. You got some balls. Kelso. I hope you didn't scratch the paint of my new Lincoln. Mm -mm. These guys are getting out of the dope business, Mr. Cohen. You'll have no more problems from them. The morphine is going to disappear back into the sea. Hang on. You're getting hasty. There's a lot of dough on offer here. Thanks for the offer, Mr. Cohen, but we are going to have to politely decline. After today, the morphine is no more. This isn't the way we normally do business. I'm aware of that, Mr. Cohen. Call me Mickey. Are you aware of the risk, huh? I'm giving it to you straight, Mr. Cohen. There will be no more morphine. We made a mistake and would like to back out gracefully. If you come after us, we will be forced to come after you. You've been polite up till now, so don't stop making threats. I don't make threats, Mr. Cohen. I'd like to thank you for your time. Is that guy your idea of muscle, kid? <laughs> There's something you should know about Jack, Mr. Cohen. He killed six Japs hand-to-hand -hand with just a bayonet and a K-bar knife. His outfit, the Six Marines, killed over 100,000 Japs in three months in Okinawa, and he was in the thick of it. Those Japs are little guys, right? Yes, Mr. Cohen. About your size. Wow, that was cold. Okay, that was goddamn cold. Japanese are not that little. God. I love the Japanese. Solar Cat TV, welcome and thank you for the follow. Oh god. I've been kitty attacked. Oh shit. Alright, let's put it down. Oh, and uh, thank you for the host as well. Thank you so much. Oh, there's something else here. Oh, it's a ledger. Oh, that's right. Uh, uh, it was somebody. Um, 
It was a it was an Audi. Yep. Merlin Audi. Yeah. Four crates. A lot of four crates actually. Uh Uh you. And then you. And then I pick you. I know this game inside and out, so I, th I, so LMK, I have you need help. I actually don't really. <laughs> I can figure this out. Uh, then let's check the clues. Not the numbers. Uh, number slip. Nope. Numbers racket. And nothing. Then what else was here? Oh, I guess he was... I guess it was just on this page. Alright. No, that was still another newspaper. And fuck the chairs. <laughs> yeah, I've been noticing there's like chair physics in this game, just like The Last of Us. Fuck the chairs. <laughs> Alright. Oh shit. There's a puddle track. Uh huh. I see. Then we must lead to where it goes. Yep. Welcome to Furniture Village, where taste comes to die. Where, t where taste comes to die. Welcome to Value Village. Oh, jeez. What a pile of Oh, there's more puddles. My mother would be in heaven. Even broken furniture? Jeez. I bet this is the kind of crap you love, Cole. 20 years ago. Uh, no. <laughs> I like modern furniture. Oh, there's still more puddle. <laughs> Jesus. Don't kill our wildlife. Well, I it's already too late on that. Are you a Pokemon streamer by any chance? Well, my name is uh, Mr. Bright Guy. I am a... I'm probably what I think myself as a retro gamer, so I just play any game. I do stream Pokemon. In fact, I just streamed uh, Pokemon Puzzle League with my friend Patrick on the weekend. So we just did that. And I have a feeling next Pokemon game would be either Coliseum or maybe Pokemon Leaf Green if I ever get... Whoa. <laughs> what is this, Snake Eater? If I ever get back to Leaf Green, there was cancelled footage of that. <laughs> using an emulator. I don't have a I don't have a, like a Game Boy player for GameCube. But yes, I do stream Pokemon. If I ever get the part where I whoa. Oh shit. Light indicates the crane arm position. Oh, crap. So do I have to like... Oh, oh, I see. I have to go into that building. But yes, I, I do stream Pokemon whenever I have the time to like... ever want to do a Pokemon game. Maybe if I put a donation goal for like a 3DS capture card, I can stream Pokemon Sun and Moon and other 3DS games 
I have Pokemon Sun. My sister has Pokemon Moon. And I'm looking forward to Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. The Pokemon games I've already done were, like on my channel, were Pokemon Tournaments, Pokemon XD, the already finished Pokemon Puzzle League. What if I squish him? Yep, I noticed that from up here. Oh shit, what is this? Uh, I don't think that's the right time to do it. Well, let me in. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about getting Ultra Sun. Um, what other Pokemon games? There's Pokemon XD, Pokemon. And f oh, actually, my Let's Play drive is not even plugged in. Yeah, get down. Alright. I figured it was coming through these boxes. Oh. It's a freezer. Yeah, it's the freezer. Uh. Probably want to smash this box if we have like a chisel can we get a chisel or just or just shoot it that works <laughs> that that works <laughs> fuck chisels all right oh yeah this is definitely full of morphine we have our drug dealer. It's like Santa's grotto for a Yep. Ice. That's clever. Better than popcorn cups, that's for sure. Look at it all. Big boy. It's not small. Now we just need to get to the source. The source. Oh, then we just, we just talk back to, like, ask him why, why would he ever want to sell or want to transport drugs? He must have had a lot of money. There was like five thousand dollars in that, in that radio. Probably worth a lot for morphine. Nice. I start to wonder what their prices are, like... Is it just a thing they come up with, or...? <laughs> is it that thing you wanted to check, or...? Nope. Now let's, uh, let's talk to him. Or not. Have you played in black and white mode? Oh, you mean Pokemon Bl Oh, wait a minute. I remembered. I remember doing a Let's Play of Pokemon White on the emulator. You can drive. Wait a minute. There must have been something back in there. Can I talk to you guys or nope? There must there still must have been something back in that freezer. Oh actually wait. Here we go. Whoop, okay. Psst. Never mind then. Polar Bear Ice Company. Okay. 
Oh, black and white mode. Oh, like in the game. No, I haven't. Hold on, can I? Display. Oh yeah, there was like a black and white mode. Damn it. I thought you meant like Pokemon black and white. Damn it. Oh shit. There he goes. He's gonna run through it. He's gonna run through there. Huh. Hey. That was quick. Alright, we're good. We're good. I honestly thought you meant like Pokemon black and white. But I remember too, this is the fucking 40s. Of course their films were in black and white. <laughs> Okay. Why do we have to immediately kill that guy? He was just transporting the drugs. And I guess he wasn't actually the guy that's been given the drugs. Drugs are prohibited. Doesn't mean people don't want to take them. Limiting supply doesn't mean that we have limited <laughs> demand. I understand that. I know that the average Joe needs to unwind a little bit, let his hair down at the end of the week. Morphine? Heroin? It's important to deal with Heroin. That's another day. drug. But when all is said and done, it's just another chemical like booze. A lot of people in high Like, would you ever want to put that on your bucket list? Like, try at least one drug? Or is that way too dangerous? Like, I know I... What the heck? Like, I know I've smoked once. Or twice. But that was it. But would I ever, like... Have, like... Try out drugs at least once. In your bucket list. I think one thing I would put on my bucket list is like having I like meet the best YouTubers in person, like the best gamers. Oh shit! <laughs> Always jump. This guy is jumping to conclusions as well. Smoke tobacco or marijuana? Hmm. Oh, fuck. I think maybe, like, tobacco. Here, pick up a weapon. Pick up the weapon. There we go. Oh shit. It's a fucking shotgun. Are these like the exact same goons? Oh fuck, I'm almost getting killed. How long do you think you can hold out? Ah, jeez. <laughs> He's getting killed. Boom. Oh, he's getting up. Did he go into hiding? What the hell? I beat this game seven times on the 360. Wow. Probably just for uh, trophy achievements. Uh, the guy is getting a whoa. Ha! Huh. Ah, uh, careful. Just careful. Ah. Come on, you. Come on. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Be Oof. I see you. Hey. Let's go upstairs. Whew. Oh, you never 100... You never completed it? This, this game seems pretty easy to complete, though. Like... I've already got like 40% done. 
before a couple of cases ago. Like if he had the time to like do the street cases or like wah. I guess we killed him. We killed the guy. Oh yeah, that's definitely a thing. Oh yeah. Two like a box worth of two thousand of these. Holy crap. This is going to make the papers, Phelps. A senior investigator I'll need to talk to. All right then. All the like all these boxes frozen in ice is morphine. Holy shit, that's a ton of drugs. The real question is why do we need drugs? Like the real that's the real question to ask. Why do we need drugs? I won't lie to you, kid. I like the headline. I like him a lot. I'm I'm generally confused. And we'll get along just fine. But ton of butt drugs. You could say that again. Alright. Job well done. Ah, ten dollars on city damage. The death of Lenny Finkelstein should keep administrative vice in the headlines for now. And with that, it is it is one thirty in the morning. I have to get to bed. <laughs> Reefer madness. Yeah, I can totally do this tomorrow if I can. No, I am not doing a five-star run. In fact, you know this is my first time playing this. Sir, this is actually my first time playing this game. Also, is this a new chief? Or is that, that just a new guy? Or no, this is probably at a different police station. Hollywood Boulevard. All right. Next time on L.A. Noir, we're going to solve the case of the Reefer Madness. Probably another drug case. Freddie Calhoun, 26-year-old Caucasian male, drug addict. Yep, drugs. Yeah, we're going to solve the case of the Reefer Madness. It is 1.30 in the morning, and I have to get to bed. Because I still need to be prepared for calls and emails from from uh, posi like jaw positions. See you guys then.